Place your Husqvarna Viking Platinum Plus on a firm surface. Take out the cord from the foot control. Plug the foot control in the front socket. Plug the power cord into the back socket. Turn on power and light. Straight stitch is always automatically selected when you turn on the machine. Open the accessory tray, located behind the free arm, and remove the upper tray. Place the presser feet and bobbins in the upper tray within easy reach while you are sewing. Lift the presser foot lift for threading. Lift the front lid to open it. Use the main spool pin horizontally and slide the spool on so the thread reels off counterclockwise. Place the flat side of the small spool holder against small spools. The larger spool holder against large spools. For extra large spools or for specialty threads, use the main spool pin vertically. With a felt pad under the spool, that prevents the thread from reeling off too fast. Push in spool pin for stability. Start threading from the first threading guide arrow. Continue to follow the arrows through the thread tension and up to the thread take-up lever. Down again and into the guide on the needle bar. The built in needle threader eliminates tedious threading. Pull the needle threader all the way down, catching the thread under the metal guide. Push the needle threader backward. A small hook will pass through the needle eye. Place the thread around the metal guide and under the flanges so the hook in the needle catches the thread. Swing the needle threader gently back and up. The hook pulls the thread through the needle eye and forms a loop. Pull the loop of thread to the back, then under the presser foot, and into the thread cutter. To wind the bobbin directly from the needle, place the empty bobbin on the bobbin winder spindle with the Husqvarna Viking symbol marked toward you. Pull the bobbin winder spindle down to engage bobbin winding. Pull the thread under the presser foot, over the guide wires, and the bobbin guide disc. Wind a few turns of thread clockwise on the bobbin and cut. Touch the Start Stop button to wind the bobbin. The bobbin stops automatically when full. Move the bobbin winder spindle up. Remove the bobbin and cut the thread on the thread cutter. To wind a bobbin directly from the spool, raise the auxiliary spool pin and pull down the bobbin on the bobbin winder spindle. Place the appropriate spool holder, felt pad, and spool on spool pin. Thread around the bobbin tension disc. under the bobbin guide, over the bobbin guide disc, 
a round bobbin, and wind. To thread the bobbin thread, slide off the bobbin cover. Place the bobbin with the Husqvarna Viking symbol up. Put your finger on the bobbin to keep it from turning. Pull the thread to the left into the tension spring. Thread up and around the guide, down into the thread cutter. Replace the cover and pull the thread to the left to cut it. The bobbin thread will come up automatically when you start to sew. If your top thread or bobbin thread breaks or runs out while sewing, raise the presser foot, re-thread or wind a new bobbin, and continue sewing. The touch panel with info display and stitch selection panel makes sewing and embroidery so easy. The Platinum Plus has a stitch menu and an alphabet menu. Lift the front lid. The stitch menu includes 35 utility and decorative stitches pictured on the inside of the lid. The 10 most frequently used utility stitches are pictured on the stitch selection panel, including a quick selection button for buttonhole. A stitch symbol in the overview window shows that the stitch menu is active. Touch a stitch selection button to select a stitch. In the info display, you see the stitch number and settings for your stitch choice. The best presser foot is also recommended. The recommended stitch length and stitch width for the stitch is automatically set by the sewing machine. Adjust stitch length and stitch width by touching the minus and plus buttons below the settings in the info display. To adjust presser foot pressure, move the dial that is located under the front lid. The higher the number, the more pressure the foot puts on the fabric. Normal pressure is around 4. Set the presser foot pressure to a lower number so there is a less pressure on the fabric when sewing softer fabrics and special techniques like applique. Adjust the top thread tension by touching the minus and plus tension buttons. You see the settings on the thread tension indication dial. The higher the number, the more tension on your top thread. Normal thread tension is between 4 and 5. Place a piece of fabric underneath the presser foot and lower the presser foot. Step on the foot control to sew. Sew a little way, then stop. To stop sewing with your needle in your fabric, touch your needle stop up-down button. The arrow pointing down next to the needle in your info display indicates that this function is now active. You can also tap the foot control once to lower the needle into your fabric for pivoting. Lift the presser foot, turn the fabric, and you can sew without your foot control. Touch start stop and continue sewing.
To adjust between five different sewing speeds, touch the minus speed function button to slow the sewing speed. Touch the speed plus function button to increase the sewing speed. While sewing, touch the reverse button. Your Platinum Plus sews in reverse as long as you hold the reverse button in. For permanent reverse, stop sewing and touch the reverse button twice in quick succession. A reverse arrow appears in the info display to indicate the permanent reverse is active. Touch reverse once again to sew forward. You can also secure your seams with the Fix button. Touch the Fix button to sew tiny fixed stitches at the beginning of a seam. Touch the Fix button while sewing to tie off and stop. A number of presser feet come with your new Platinum Plus. Each foot is developed to give the best result to the stitch or the sewing technique. You can read more about the feet in the Platinum Plus User's Guide. To snap off the presser foot, pull it down and towards you. Snap the new foot onto the ankle. Using the correct needle for the fabric weight and sewing technique plays an important role in successful sewing. There are special needles for stretch fabric, heavy denim fabric, and needles for embroidering. You can read more about needles in the Platinum Plus User's Guide and in the Accessory User's Guide. Change the needle often to make sure that the needle is not blunt. To change the needle, turn off your Platinum Plus. Loosen the needle clamp screw with the grip aid and pull needle down. Insert a new needle, flat side away from you, up as far as it will go, and tighten the screw. Your Platinum Plus has many garment sewing features, including 25 needle positions for accurate sewing. Perfect for top stitching. Stitch 1 is the center needle position straight stitch. Use the plus or minus stitch width buttons to adjust your stitch. From the center needle straight stitch, the plus button moves your needle to the left. Touch the mirror image side-to-side -side button to move your stitch width to the right needle position. From the right needle position, touch minus on the stitch width button repeatedly to move the needle toward the center in 12 right needle positions. For perfect top stitching along the edge of a pocket, snap on presser foot D or the optional edge stitching foot. Adjust needle position to the left using your plus stitch width button. Sew with the big toe of the D foot or the guide from the edge stitching foot along the edge of the pocket.
your platinum plus those wonderful embroideries. Down through the ages, people all over the world have enjoyed stitching embroidery designs to personalize and embellish clothing, table linens, and special heirlooms. Early embroideries were stitched by hand. Today, your Husqvarna Viking Platinum Plus embroiders your designs effortlessly. Several accessories are supplied with your Platinum Plus for embroidering. Two embroidery D cards, a large embroidery hoop with a placement template and a template pencil, Platinum Plus sampler booklet and embroidery collection, the U embroidery foot, a pair of small scissors and trial package with threads and stabilizers. To set up your Platinum Plus for embroidery, turn it off. Slide off the accessory tray. Carefully open the cover of the socket at the back of your Platinum Plus. Slide the embroidery unit onto the free arm on the machine until it plugs firmly into the socket. Use Embroidery Presser Foot U for embroidering. To mount the foot, use the screwdriver to loosen the screw on the presser foot ankle to remove it. Place the embroidery foot U from behind onto the presser foot bar. Make sure that the arm of the presser foot rests on the top of the needle clamp screw. Use the hand wheel to lower the needle slightly until the foot slides in place. Insert and tighten the screw. For embroidering in normal fabrics, adjust the lever on the presser foot arm so the letter U is visible from the side. Turn on your Platinum Plus. The feed teeth are automatically lowered when the embroidery unit is connected. Clear the embroidery unit area and remove any hoop. Make sure that the presser foot is lifted. Touch the Hoop button to calibrate your Platinum Plus. Two embroidery D cards come with your Platinum Plus. Slide embroidery D card Platinum Plus sampler into the slot on the right side of the machine. The sampler booklet shows all the beautiful embroideries pictured in actual size. Select Design 9, the beautiful bouquet with violets. Here you find information about the total number of stitches in the design, design number, and thread color recommendation. On the info display, you see the number of your selected design and the information about the height and width of the embroidery. The info display recommends presser foot U and the thread color number flashes beside the thread spool icon. The smallest hoop size that fits the selected design is automatically selected. You can select different hoop sizes manually by touching the Hoop Size button.
the large 250 times 150 millimeter hoop comes with your Platinum Plus. A variety of hoop sizes from mini to mega are available as optional accessories to stitch beautiful embroideries. Choose the smallest hoop appropriate for the size of the design for best result and easy hooping. Use special 40 weight embroidery thread when embroidering. The thread creates a glossy appearance that makes beautiful embroideries. The bobbin thread is a fine 70 weight synthetic thread in black or white, which reduces buildup on the wrong side of the embroidery. Use the embroidery booklet and template to place the embroidery on your fabric. Outline the embroidery design onto the template with the template pencil. You do not need to trace every detail, just the outline of the design. Place the template on the fabric to be embroidered. Use the pictogram pen to mark the fabric in the center and through the horizontal and vertical slots in the template. Loosen the screw on the outer hoop to separate the hoops. Place Husqvarna Viking Stabilizer and fabric on top of the outer hoop. Place the inner hoop on top of the fabric with the tiny arrow toward you, matching the outer hoop arrow. Match the marked lines on your fabric with the marks on the hoop. Push the inner hoop firmly into the outer hoop. Tighten the screw. Be sure the fabric is tight in the hoop and tighten the screw properly with the grip aid. Slide the hoop into the embroider unit so it locks in place. Thread your Platinum Plus with embroidery thread on top bobbin thread in the bobbin. On Embroidery Design 9, the first suggested color in the booklet is yellow. Hold the thread end, lower the presser foot, and touch the Start-Stop button to begin embroidering. Your Platinum Plus will sew a few stitches, then stop. A scissors icon appears on the info display, prompting you to cut the top thread tail. Cut the thread and touch the Start-Stop button to resume embroidering. Your Platinum Plus will automatically embroider the first color, in this case, the yellow ribbon. 
Your Husqvarna Viking Platinum Plus embroiders up to 700 stitches per minute. The speed is computer controlled on different stitch types for precision. When your first color is complete, your Husqvarna Viking Platinum Plus will stop sewing and the color number two flashes in the info display, prompting you to change thread color. Lift the presser foot and cut the thread ends. Thread the top with the second color, dark yellow. Touch Start Stop. Change thread colors is prompted by the info display to complete the embroidery. If your Platinum Plus stops sewing and an E flashes besides the thread icon in the info display, check top and bobbin thread. If your bobbin thread has run out, touch the bobbin access button to remove the bobbin. The hoop moves out of the way. Raise the hoop slightly to remove the bobbin. Wind a new bobbin and replace the bobbin. Touch the bobbin access button to bring the embroidery hoop back to the exact embroidery position. If your top thread is broken or has run out, just re-thread the top thread. You can step forward and backward stitch by stitch in your embroidery with the stitch minus and stitch plus buttons. To make sure that you will have no skipped stitches in your finished embroidery, Step back a few stitches by touching the Stitch Minus button. Touch Start Stop to continue embroidering. When the embroidery is completed, your Platinum Plus stops and the hoop returns to the start position. The color number one again flashes in the info display. Lift the presser foot and press the gray button on the hoop clamp to release the hoop. Snip the jump threads and enjoy your first among many, many beautiful embroideries. Select the flower design 12 by touching stitch selection buttons 1 and 2. Embroideries are often stitched in more than one thread color. You can move between the thread color changes with these buttons. You can easily change the look of a design by stitching it in one color only. To remove the color stop, touch the stop button before you start to embroider. The stop sign goes out on the info display to indicate this. Touch start stop and the embroidery is sewn in one color without any stops for color changing.
See Design 8, the small leaf on the embroidery sampler D card. You can scale your embroidery size up or down 25% with the stitch length and stitch width buttons. With this technique, you can sew a variety of leaves in different shapes and sizes. Husqvarna Viking features several special designs for creating corner embroideries. By rotating and mirror imaging these designs, you can stitch beautiful frames. Select Design 11. Touch the Hoop Selection button to select Hoop Size 240 times 150 millimeters. You can move the design to another place in the hoop with the positioning arrows. Touch the left arrow to move the design to the left as far as it will go. You can see the hoop move as you change the starting position of your design. The machine will beep indicating you cannot move your design any further. Touch the down positioning arrow to move the design to the lower left corner as far as it will go. Check the new position with the Check Size and Placement button. Touch it four times to see the corners of the design and a fifth time to bring the hoop back to the start position. This will show you your position and size of your design within the hoop. Touch Start Stop to embroider the design in the lower left corner of the standard hoop. Touch Mirror Image to flip the design and to sew it in the lower right corner of the hoop. Embroider again. The E or Rotation button will rotate your design in 90 or 180 degree increments depending on the size and position of the design in the hoop. Touch the E rotation button to rotate the design one time and to sew the design in the upper left corner of the hoop. The E in the info display will flip to indicate the sewing direction of your design. Embroider. Touch mirror image to cancel it. The design will be positioned in the upper right corner of the hoop. Embroider. Now you have a beautiful frame. You can create beautiful quilts with your Husqvarna Viking Platinum Plus, and there are several designs especially for quilting. Insert the optional D card 101 with quilt designs. Select Design 25. When quilting or embroidering on thick fabric, move the lever on the embroidery foot upwards to give extra space for the thick layers.
hoop batting sandwiched between bottom and top fabric tightly in the optional 100 by 100 hoop and embroider the design. You can sew beautiful applique embroideries with your new Platinum Plus. Slide in Embroidery D card Platinum Plus sampler. Select Design 15, the flowers with the B. Touch Start Stop to embroider and change colors as prompted until Color Stop 14 flashes in your info display. Place a matching yellow applique fabric on top of the already embroidered design. Touch Start Stop. A straight stitch outline around the applique section of the design is stitched. Touch the needle stop up down button to move the hoop forward. Trim the applique fabric from outside the straight stitch outline. Touch the needle stop up down button to move the hoop backward again. Now you have an applique ready for beautiful satin stitching in the hoop. Touch Start Stop to finish the embroidery, changing thread colors is prompted. Beautiful cutwork embroideries are available on a number of optional embroidery D cards, like Design 35, The Little Butterfly on D card 26. Use Husqvarna Viking Dissolve Away Stabilizer underneath the fabric. This stabilizer will wash away, creating your beautiful open cutwork. The inside of the butterfly is stitched and then a straight stitch outline for the wings. Trim away the fabric from inside the cutwork stitched outline. Touch Start Stop and Platinum Plus finishes the cutwork design with a beautiful satin stitch. With the optional mega hoop, you can sew larger embroideries than ever. Slide in the optional D card 117 mega borders by Anna Haraldson. Select design 8, the fashionable square design. Embroidering in the mega hoop is slightly different from embroidering in the smaller hoops. Hoop fabric with tearaway stabilizer in the hoop. 
as the hoop is so large, snap on the mega hoop clips to prevent the fabric from sliding in the hoop. The mega hoop has three different positions. P2 is visible on the side of the mega hoop in the info display, prompting you to set the mega hoop in position 2. Touch Start Stop to begin embroidering. When all squares except the lowest one is stitched, your platinum stops. The info display prompts you to move the hoop to position 3. Move the hoop. Touch Start Stop again and continue embroidering. Change mega positions and threads is prompted until the embroidery is completed. The fix function is perfect when you embroider on small areas or on fabrics that will get hoop marks if hooping it. You will see exactly where the embroidery will be placed before you start to embroider. Hoop Tearaway Stabilizer in a Hoop Place the garment or fabric flat on top of the stabilizer. Touch the Fix Function button before you touch Start Stop to begin embroidering a design. With the Fix Function activated in Embroidery Mode, your Platinum Plus first attaches the fabric to the stabilizer with a basted square around your design to hold the fabric flat in the hoop. To embroider letters, slide in the Clarendon Font Embroidery D card 102 into the slot. The text size is visible on the info display, prompting the selected font size. There are three font sizes 12 mm, 20, and 30 mm and all characters are pictured in actual size in your Platinum Plus Sampler booklet. Touch the Size button to step between the font sizes. Select font 20 millimeters. The font D card has three menus. Uppercase letters, lowercase letters, and numbers special characters. A capital A in the overview window indicates that the menu with uppercase letters is active. See page 23 in the Platinum Plus Sampler booklet to see the numbers of the characters. 
touch Stitch Selection button 8 to embroider uppercase letter H. To embroider hot chocolate, select the large hoop. Touch the rotation button to rotate the letter. An E is visible in the info display to indicate the direction of the letter in the hoop. Touch the positioning arrows to move the letter to the side as far as it will go. Move the letters up a little. Touch Start Stop to embroider the first letter. When the first letter is embroidered, touch Menu to select lowercase letters. Select an O by touching Stitch Selection buttons 1 and 5 for Stitch 15. The letter will automatically be rotated and positioned after the first embroidered letter. Touch Start Stop and embroider again. Continue in the same way to embroider T. To embroider chocolate, touch Menu to embroider uppercase letters again. Touch Stitch 3 to embroider capital C. As a space is not embroidered, the hoop moves back to the center of the hoop again to indicate that a new word will be positioned. Move the letter to the side and up as far as it will go to embroider underneath the previous word. Embroider again. Select lowercase letters and embroider the remaining letters H, O, C, O, L, A, T, E, one by one in the same way. Embroider some leaves on the fabric and you can sew a handy bag for your thermos bottle. There are hundreds of embroidery designs available from Husqvarna Viking, and we're continually working on new ideas and embroidery techniques. New techniques let you sew cutwork and appliques in the embroidery hoop. You can even piece quilt blocks in the embroidery hoop. Every imaginable idea. Embroideries for children, all kinds of flower designs, from traditional to modern lace embroideries, candle wicking, even cut out dolls and clothes are yours to create and to make your sewing fun. Page through your Husqvarna Viking embroidery collection to see all the beautiful designs available for your machine. Or get truly creative and design your own embroideries. All you need is a PC, our Husqvarna Viking embroidery software, and a little imagination. You can edit designs or combine existing embroideries. You can also enlarge embroidery designs or create your own cross-stitch embroideries. You can even scan your child's drawing and stitch it out. Husqvarna Viking has many exciting software programs to expand your embroidery techniques and creativity.
Ask your Husqvarna Viking dealer for a demo and more information. To store the embroidery unit in the embroidery case, touch the parking symbol P to move the embroidery arm to the rest position. Turn off the machine. Press the release button at the left underside of the embroidery unit and slide the unit to the left. Your Platinum Plus has many features to help make garment sewing easy and professional. Touch stitch 4, the basting stitch, to sew a straight stitch seam that can be removed easily. To gather fabric for ruffles or gathers on garments and home decorations, shorten the stitch length to 4.5. Sew two rows of stitches and pull the bobbin threads to gather the fabric. Touch stitch 3. The reinforced straight stitch is great to mend and sew strong seams, like the crotch seam on a pair of trousers. To prevent woven fabric edges from fraying, touch stitch 8 to overcast. The info display recommends presser foot A, but use presser foot J to get an even edge. Place the edge of the fabric along the wire on the foot and sew. The wire on the presser foot allows the stitches to ride along the edge of the fabric for an even result. It's easy to sew on stretch fabric with your new Platinum Plus. Why not sew something special for one of the little people in your life? Touch stitch 1 and 0 to select stitch 10. This is a seam overcast stitch, which seams and overcasts the fabric edge all at once. Use it to sew ribbing to the neckline of a t-shirt. Select stitch 11 to sew a nice ready-to-wear hem in knit garments. Snap on presser foot B as recommended on the info display. Sew. This hem is strong and durable. Touch stitch 13 to sew an invisible hem. Snap on the blind hem foot D. Press under a hem to the wrong side of the fabric and place pins perpendicular to the hem. Fold the hem to the right side of the fabric, but leave part of the hem extending to the right. Sew along the extension and remove pins before sewing into them. Allow the long zig of the stitch to just catch the fold of your fabric. Use the plus or minus stitch width buttons to adjust the width of your stitch if needed.
For a top stitched hem in slacks and jeans, select straight stitch. Adjust stitch length to 3.0. For free arm sewing, lift the button under the left side of the accessory tray to remove it. Touch your needle stop down so your needle stops down in your fabric. Slide the leg over the free arm for easy sewing. Use the clearance plate to easily sew over thick seams. With the needle down, lift the presser foot and place the clearance plate under the back of the presser foot with the foot parallel to the fabric. Sew over the seam. Stop. Raise the presser foot and reinsert the clearance plate from the front. Sew until the presser foot is clear of the seam. Darning a small hole or tear can save your favorite garment. Touch stitch 15, the darning stitch. Use fine thread in the same colors as the fabric and place stabilizer under lightweight fabrics. Sew over the tear. Touch reverse and continue sewing. This automatic darning stitch will stitch 12 times back and forth over the tear to repair it. If the hole or tear is large, touch stop to enter this length of darning into memory. Step on the foot control to sew the darning program again. Buttonhole sewing is so easy on your Platinum Plus, and the exclusive one-step sensor buttonhole foot makes sure that every buttonhole is exactly the same length. This is perfect when you have to sew more than one. Touch the quick selection button zero to select the bar tack buttonhole. Snap on the sensor buttonhole foot and plug the cord into the socket. Line up the white area on the red wheel with the white line on the foot. Place your button on the buttonhole rule in your Platinum Handbook to determine the size of your button.
enter the button size with the stitch length buttons under the info display. The buttonhole size is automatically set for your button. Lower the presser foot at the bottom of your buttonhole and step on the foot control until the buttonhole is completed. A straight stitch on the left column is stitched backwards. Then a satin stitch is sewn forward. This is repeated for the right column. The bar tacks are made automatically. The wheel measures the length of the buttonhole as you sew for perfect buttonholes every time. Select the bar tack buttonhole. Snap on presser foot C to sew a manual buttonhole for small areas like a lining, for example where the area is too narrow to use the measuring wheel on the sensor buttonhole foot. Begin sewing at the bottom of the buttonhole. At the end of the first side, touch reverse and continue sewing. When the buttonhole columns are the same length, touch reverse. Your Platinum Plus bar tacks and ties off. Three styles of buttonholes are included on your Husqvarna Viking Platinum Plus. It's easy to sew on buttons. Touch the zigzag stitch 5. Remove the presser foot and use the ankle only. Lower the feed teeth by rolling the feed teeth dial to the left. Lower the ankle down on the button. Use the side-to-side -side mirror image button to be sure the needle goes into the holes in the button. Adjust stitch width if needed. Sew several stitches and touch stop to tie off. Be sure to raise the feed teeth by rolling the feed teeth dial to the right after sewing buttons. There are several decorative stitches on your new Platinum Plus. Select stitch 22, the small hearts. The info display recommends presser foot B. Place tearaway stabilizer underneath the fabric. To sew only one heart, touch the stop button before you start to sew. Your Platinum Plus will sew only one heart, tie off, and stop. Touch the stop button again to cancel the single heart. Begin sewing a row of hearts again and touch the stop function button while sewing to finish and tie off at the end of a stitch.
so again. Touch fix and the machine stops sewing and ties off immediately. Select the stitch again to start stitching from the beginning of the heart. Touch the side to side mirror image button to mirror image the heart side to side. With the stitch width and stitch length buttons, you can easily adjust the look of your decorative stitches. Platinum Plus is great at writing. Program stitches, letters, numbers, and special characters. Program it all. Label all your sewn garments, for example, to assure that they will end up in the right drawer. To program a personal name label for Karen that attends class 2B in school, touch the function button to select the program mode. Platinum Plus has four separate memories where you can create a multitude of new stitch programs and combinations. The memory may already be programmed. To delete a stitch program, touch Clear. To program stitches, touch Stitch 31 to program the leaf. Mirror image the stitch end to end. Step forward with the right arrow to enter the next stitch. Touch stitch 32, the little flower. Touch the right arrow. and touch stitch 31 again. Step forward with the right arrow again, and program stop to sew only one set of your stitch combination. Touch M to move to the next memory, memory 2 to program letters. Your stitch combination will now be saved in memory 1 so you can go back and sew it later. To program letters, numbers, and special characters, select the Stitch Alphabet menu. The overview window indicates that uppercase letters will be programmed. All numbers and letters are visible under the front lid. To program Karen, 2B, enter stitch 11 to program a capital K. Touch the right arrow button to move forward to program the next stitch. Touch the stitch alphabet menu again to program lowercase letters. A lowercase a appears in the overview window. Program the lowercase a by touching stitch 1, then touch the right arrow button to enter forward again. Continue to program R, I, N, in the same manner. Touch stitch 35 to program a space. Touch right arrow to enter forward. To program numbers and special characters, select the stitch alphabet menu. 
a number 1 now appears in the overview window. Program stitch 2 for number 2. Touch right arrow to enter forward. Touch the stitch alphabet menu again to program uppercase letters again. Program Stitch 2 for capital B. Touch the arrow to enter forward. Program Stop. To scroll through your combination, touch the arrow buttons to see the number of the stitches that you have programmed. Touch the Function button to go to the Repeat mode to sew your program stitches. Enter Memory 1 again. Snap on Presser Foot B. For beautiful stitches, use an embroidery thread on top and sew your program stitches with tearaway stabilizer underneath the fabric. Enter memory 2 and stitch the name under the stitch combination. Enter memory 1 again. and touch mirror image side to side to mirror image your stitch program. Sew your stitch combination under the name. Touch the function button to return to the normal mode. You can sew wonderful satin stitches with your Platinum Plus. Touch Stitch 6, the pre-programmed satin stitch, to sew beautiful applique for garments and home decoration. Adjust Stitch Width to 3.0. Snap on Presser Foot B or use the optional open toe foot for better visibility. Cut and fuse the applique design to the fabric. Place stabilizer underneath and satin stitch around the applique. Imitate the look of applique stitch by hand with stitch 14. Platinum Plus also includes stitches for heirloom sewing. With these, you can create wonderful garments and home decorations with a feeling of romance and times long past. Select Stitch 27, the Entreduce stitch. Insert a wing needle. Sew with matching lightweight thread on linen or cotton fabric. The flanges at the end of the wing needle create a hole in lightweight fabrics. The stitch holds the hole open, creating an heirloom stitch. For lace insertion, place a piece of lace on the fabric and stitch down both edges. To stitch lace to a finished fabric edge, touch stitch 12, the bridging stitch. Snap on presser foot B as recommended, 
or the optional edge joining foot. Place the lace and the fabric edge to edge in the center under the presser foot and they are perfectly aligned as you sew. Touch stitch 16, the taper satin stitch. Use presser foot B and place tearaway stabilizer underneath the fabric. Begin sewing. The taper stitch begins sewing at a point and widens to a satin stitch. Touch reverse to taper the end to a point again. This technique is especially useful in the beginning and end of a gimping seam or for monograms. You will find more instruction for sewing techniques in your Platinum Family Handbook. The stitch table for utility stitches will guide you on how to use the stitches in the best and easiest way for your sewing. Expand your sewing techniques with some new accessory presser feet. The Accessory User's Guide pictures all the optional accessories that make specialty technique sewing fun and easy. Complete instructions and illustrations on how to use the optional feet are included. Get inspired and purchase optional accessories at your Husqvarna Viking dealer. Take good care of your Husqvarna Viking Platinum Plus. Turn off the machine and snap off the presser foot. Lower the feed teeth and slide off the bobbin cover. Place the small accessory in the end of the lint brush. Insert it into the slot at the back of the stitch plate. Twist the brush towards you to pop off the stitch plate. Lift out the bobbin case holder and the bobbin case and brush the lint away. Set the bobbin case in place with the tension spring toward you. Set the bobbin case holder in place and snap on the stitch plate. Be sure it's on all the way. Slide the cover in place and snap on the presser foot. Raise the feed teeth. The product development at Husqvarna Viking never stops. It goes on and on to satisfy the needs and desires of our customers. Visit your Husqvarna Viking dealer often for classes, demonstrations, and information about new products. Our Husqvarna Viking Zigzag magazine features helpful hints, sewing projects, and inspiration. Patterns and sewing instructions are included in each issue to make your sewing easy, fun, and creative. Zigzag is published twice a year. Subscribe now. Visit our website 
www.husqvarnaviking.com continuously for tips on sewing projects and techniques. Enjoy the ease of sewing and embroidering with your new Platinum Plus.